Hi, I'm Nick Cassell. I've been an instructor here at Musicians Institute for over 10 years now, where I teach a series of core and elective classes on Adobe software, as well as graphic and web design. While it's always beneficial, no art or design experience is required for anything that we're about to talk about. Again, these are beginner tips. And of course, if you want to find out any more about me or my work, feel free to check me out on my website, Instagram, YouTube, any of these places up here. Feel free to reach out and say hi. And of course, subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. Um, anyways, enough about that. Let's get started. So this video is all about the importance of fonts and choosing the right font for your projects. Um, I think at this point, most of us know what a font is, what we use them for. We probably use them just about every day of our lives, you know, even in Gmail or Microsoft Word and things like that. Um, but as musicians, bands, uh, most of the designs that we make are practical designs with practical purpose. So something like a YouTube thumbnail, a channel artwork for your channel, um, flyers, concert posters, like all of that kind of stuff. And fonts play a big role in just about everything that we create. So if you choose the wrong font, uh, you run the risk of, you know, maybe not connecting with your desired audience or worse yet, coming across as an amateur or unprofessional, which we definitely don't want to do. And you might think that this is a, a silly tip, but it's one of the number one mistakes that I see still to this day constantly is musicians and bands making promotional materials where there's very little to no thought put into what fonts are chosen and how that text looks. So let's take a quick look at this flyer, which is something bands and musicians need to make all the time. Um, the fonts here really lack any kind of personality or visual appeal. It's really hard to tell what style of music it is, what the mood of the event is, not to mention it's just kind of boring to look at. Now let's take a quick look at the exact same flyer, same layout, same everything, with just some quick tweaks to fonts and colors. And you can really see it is dramatically better with very little effort. Luckily, it's easier than ever to start exploring and downloading and using fonts in your own projects. It's also easier than ever to find the right one for just about anything you're working on. But let's start with just where do I go to get fonts? Again, some of you probably know this already. There is a lot of websites out there. The one I would recommend, especially for beginners, is one called Defont because the selection is incredible. You can find fonts there for just about any project, no matter the style of music or the mood of the show, any of that stuff. And you can see the selection is incredible. Um, it's sorted by visual category, so you can kind of go in and start to really narrow down your font choices. Uh, a really great thing that Defont does that helps out a lot, whether you're a designer or somebody who's just starting out, is you can do custom font previews, which is amazing. That lets you basically see your custom text, like your name, your logo, the name of the show, in whatever font you're exploring, which is great. Uh, one little asterisk with this, make sure that you're please paying attention to commercial usage rights. Um, above the download buttons, it usually lets you know whether or not this is a paid or free font. Um, you can always download them and try them, but make sure you pay attention to that because you don't want to get caught in some sort of legal snafu uh, just because you didn't pay attention to some fine print. That's a subject for another video, and of course, if you have questions on that, feel free to leave it in the comments below. So finding fonts is actually pretty easy, but finding the right font is always a little bit trickier. Um, and I do think that if you're watching this video, you're probably a music fan. So I think some of the stuff you know, whether maybe it's just a bit in your subconscious or something, but you know, you've been looking at album covers your entire life. You've been a music fan. You probably have a pretty good idea somewhere of what fonts are gonna make the most sense for the kind of music that you're making. Um, now, a couple things you can do here to help out with this. Number one, um, let's just revisit the default categories. So while you don't always need to go with such an obvious choice, these can still be a great place to start because they're a lot of different font choices and they're sorted visually into different categories. So just as an example, let's say you play in a country band and you need to do a flyer, start a logo, something like that. Maybe you go and just kind of start looking into the Western category. Uh, let's say that you do some psychedelic rock kind of 60s inspired stuff. Maybe you go to Groovy. Or you play in a metal band and you go to Destroy or Horror, things like that. Um, again, these are just things to start exploring. And even if you started using fonts like this, if you weren't before, it would be an improvement. There's a couple of other really good resources that I like to use a lot for, you know, just my own personal work as well. Um, there is a website called What the Font, which is actually a, a part of a website called My Fonts. And what this lets you do is, let's say that you find a picture online. Um, it could be anything, but really. Uh, it doesn't have to be music related, but there's a font there that you really like the style of. You see it, you're like, man, that would be really cool for my band logo or for this flyer that I'm working on. But you don't know what font it is. Um, you can 
take that picture, you can upload it into what the font, which is really awesome. It's not perfect. It doesn't always find the exact specific font, but it will show you a pretty, pretty good selection of fonts that are really similar or really close, and you can potentially explore those. Um, something that's also a really great tool is a website called Fonts in Use. Um, I use this a lot. And what's cool about this is it's a basically a database. Um, again, not perfect, doesn't have everything in it, but the selection is, is pretty good. Um, it allows you to search for things like album covers, um, stuff from pop culture, old advertisements, things like that. And not only will it show you, you know, those graphics, but it'll actually also show you what fonts were used in those projects. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you found some of these tips useful. Uh, these are really just a taste of some of the things that we get into in MI's visual media core and elective classes. Um, I'm sure you know this, but the music industry these days requires a lot of work and more than just great music to find success. And these classes are all about giving musicians of all backgrounds uh, the fundamental art and design skills that they need to compete in the real world. Um, feel free to leave a comment below if there's uh, any questions or if you want to see something in a future video. And again, thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon in classes either online or in our campus in Hollywood.